So the only people, the only people who put people in danger were the Home Office. So I want to take you back to a moment, uh, almost 18 months ago now, March 2017, when we were driving in the minibus to stop that flight. And something that will always stay with me was when we collectively read out the testimonies of people who we knew were going to be on that flight. I want to read one to you now. This is, this is the exact testimony that I read as I was traveling on that minibus. Both of my parents are in the UK. They are British. I have been with them for over five years. But the Home Office wants to send me back to Nigeria. The Home Office says I am over age. I am now 21 years old. The Home Office says I cannot stay here with my parents anymore. My brothers are here. I am in fear to go back to Nigeria. There is fighting over land. They killed my brother. They killed my grandfather. I came to England for protection. I seek asylum here. I believed the UK could help me. I gave the Home Office all of my evidence. The Home Office know everything, but they want to deport me back to a place where I don't have anybody. Another charter flight is coming. They want to put me on it. I am scared. I won't be able to survive. I don't have any family there. I have nobody there. Is this fair? I have been detained for over eight months. In detention, you see disabled people. I have notes from the doctor because I am pissing blood. But here there is no medical attention in the detention center. People are dying here. I don't understand. I didn't think the UK was like this. Nobody hears our cry. We are crying. Please, we need to be rescued. Please, can anybody help us? And as we drove in that minibus, I knew that somewhere, the man who had said these words was on a coach being forcibly taken to that flight. And we knew that we had to stop that flight from leaving. And when we stopped that flight, really that one flight was a window onto, onto all deportation flights. A deportation flight leaves about once a month from the UK. And every time it leaves, there are people on it like that man. People who are being sent to face destitution, to face persecution, and sometimes to even face death. And it is the Home Office that is responsible for that. Shame! And that is why we will not stop fighting till these brutal, these secretive, and these inhumane flights are stopped. Yeah. Hi, I'm May.